I'm sorry for imposing. I realize you probably have more pressing matters to attend to than assisting me in untangling the twisted knots I often tie myself in when it comes to Max Vista. I'm uh, glad to help you any way that I can. Well, I've been misguided. No, let's call it what it is. I've been unforgivably stupid and reckless and thoughtless. And because of that, Maximista suffers, and that is unacceptable. Okay, I'm not sure where you're going with this. I've made a decision. But I, I need your guidance as to how I should go about implementing it. And if it's not too painful, I, I think I'd like to call upon the experience that you had with the Wee One. With Jake. I mean, I don't see what he has to do with this. Why, well, you love your son. But you conceded the fact that you are bad for him. And so you found the, the courage and fortitude to walk out of his life. I'm bad for Maximista. That, that's the bald, ugly truth. And so, despite my love for her, which runs deep and constant, and pure as ever, I have to love her even more. Enough to let her go. <coughs> I don't understand. How could you let Maxie leave the hospital in the first place? Max, please. It's not Robin's fault. She wouldn't have been able to stop me. Besides, I'm not that sick. Oh, good to know. That must be why they put you in ICU. Wow, well, could you help me out now, please? Sure, I'd be happy to. I'll let you in on some facts of our lives. It's easy to get, you know, swept up in the demands of us. We're busy, we're stressed out, we have a good time. It's really easy to get sidetracked and not pay attention to our bodies. You need to pay attention to that heart that's inside of you, just like I need to pay attention to my HIV. Where's Spinelli? Oh, for Pete's sake, Max. Well, he was really just... upset and he was blaming himself. He kept saying he was sorry over and over again and then he just left. Well, with any luck, it's gonna stay that way. <sighs> Wait a minute, where, where do you think you're going? Something is wrong. I just, I need to find him. That's not uh, gonna happen. Oh, thank God. Dr. Cornerman, can you please tell my highly annoying but well-meaning family that I am okay to go home? I'm afraid I can't do that. You have pneumonia and it is causing severe strain on your heart. You read my mind. I'm seriously starving. I was gonna order food, and then Kate and I had to take Maxie to the hospital. Is she gonna be okay? Oh yeah, of course. There's no other acceptable option. You want some? No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. How can you resist French fries? I don't know. I think the only thing that should be fried in oil is uh, chia cheddar. Chia what? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> it's Italian. It's like basically fried dough with icing powdered sugar on top. Wow. One of Olivia's specialties? Nope. That's mine. Oh, you're a chef now. No, actually, it's the only thing I can make. I uh, can't even boil water, but during the uh, block party uh, in my neighborhood, I got thrown in the booth, and after that summer, I did it every summer after that for a while. What real men don't cook? No, they do. Oh, I get it. This is your, uh, I'm reminding you of Sonny. No, no, you're, you're, no, you're nothing like him. You just, it was just struck me for a moment. Take it, you saw him. Stupid me, I thought that uh, you could convince him to bring Michael home instead of making love to you all night. How'd it go? Well, I think it was going good until Jason showed up. I thought it was actually getting through. I don't know. If Michael really saw Sonny kill Claudia, Sonny's gonna have Michael out of the country until the trial's over, no matter what you say or how nicely you ask. Yeah, you're right. I keep thinking there's this person underneath who cares about other people. But there isn't. Sonny will sacrifice just about anybody to save his own ass. <clears throat> and if I ever forget again, I have a nice scar on my chest to remind me. Christina's been admitted to the hospital. What happened? 
if she was being And it's pretty bad. You need to get here as soon as you can. Christina! Christina, are you home? She probably just came home to change. Hello? Epiphany, slow down. Christina? Oh, God. We've got a lot of work to do before Christina will be in any kind of shape for questioning us. No problem. We doubt it'll be tonight. I'll uh, wait around for a while anyway. What kind of monster does this to a little girl? Obviously someone who doesn't know who her father is. Ethan. In your face. I've seen the last time I made when I found her all beaten up at the lake house. What, you found Christina? Yeah, I brought her here. Why were you at the lake house? It's a long story, man. I mean, Christina and I had some things to talk about. It's a good thing I had the impulse, though. You know, otherwise she might still be laying there. Look, it's been a long night, mate. I'm gonna take off. Well, hold on a second. There's an investigation. I'm going to need to get an official statement. Yeah, well, you know where to find me. 